Yo, speaking of battle rap, seven face. I feel like battle rap. That's why they call me Leatherface. I'm gonna tell y'all real shit. Like, I feel like battle rap is becoming so like industry. Like, it's it's getting so like Hollywood production like type shit. I can't even watch it as much anymore. It's like know? wrestling. It's so fucking fake. Like, I seen a dude literally hit a nigga with a wrestling move while he was rapping the other day. He was wild short. He was like 5'4". The other dude was like 6'1". You're talking about the uh, Rum Nitty vs. Twerk. I was like, what the fuck is this, man? I didn't, I didn't come to watch this. Like, what the fuck is this? And everybody went crazy for it. That's another thing. Like, y'all battle rap fans are corny as fuck. Y'all proved that with the Cassidy Goods battle. Y'all proved that. Like... I ain't going front. I had Cassidy getting smacked by goods. After I watched it, I was like, oh, both of these niggas was trash. Both of y'all niggas did not do nothing. Goods was trash and Cassidy was trash. Let's be honest. Like, goods had a couple bars. Great audience. Uh, what is it? What do they call that shit? What? Interaction with the audience. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He had a great interaction with the audience. But other than that, that nigga was with trash too, nigga. Y'all both need to like. What well, about both trash? I, I, I can't say they were both trash, bro. Yo, they did not let Cass rap, and they let Goods rap, but then they cheered for bullshit. His shit was not that good. No, it wasn't. When I watched Goods, I was like, "You're not that good, my nigga." That line that you good. say at the end. Goods is literally good. Goods, that line you say at the end, it's bro. Only good. You gotta take that away. Same as the difference between goods and good. Like, no, nigga, you was good. You was okay. You should have smoked Cassidy, bro. You've been battling for how long? And you've been, like, active with it. Cassidy literally came out of retirement. He battled one time in 15 years. That battle shouldn't have happened, bro. In 15 years, bro. Like, am I wrong? Yeah. He battled, like, like Ooh. the last time he battled... Was with with that freeway. With, no, 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 no. I said he battled one time in 15 years. That's a fact. That freeway battle was like 2008. <coughs> That's well, we don't know the battles that that hasn't been recorded. That doesn't count. You know, it ain't recorded, my nigga. I had battles. Fuck. This shit don't count. Why would I'm not gonna sit here and talk about no battles that wasn't on no fucking camera. Cause I'm not stupid. People are gonna be like, yo, let's see it. Where's the proof at, my nigga? But the battles that, I mean, at that time, even now, like the battles that you don't have on camera, they sharpen you for the battles you do have on camera. But you can't count them. You can't say, oh, I'm 5,005. You niggas just ain't seen none of the footage. It's not anywhere. You can't see it. You can't watch it. It's not on YouTube. Uh, nobody has a DVD of it. Um, I just been doing it for that long, my nigga. I'm that nice. No. No. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Get the fuck out of here. We know you've been battling, bro, but you got to show and prove. You have a you point, gotta show bro. and prove. I don't want to talk about five some shit that's not real. 5,002. He said he's 5,002 and 0. To who? Where? How? He has to prove it. He that's what I just said. He needs to start. Show. He has to start from the bottom and prove. Are you saying he has to start from the? He has to go to he the PGs. To, bro, he says, Cassidy got to go to not, PGs. Not the PGs, but like my nigga, like, so that he to start from the bottom. Not even that. Not even like that. Not even that. And go to hundred. If you think you can beat some of these dudes, that's like somebody. Go ahead, set it up, set the battle up. Go do that. Go through them. Whoever you think you can beat. If you think you can kill Sue Surf, I'm not saying you can do any of that. Um, after watching a good performance, but if you can do that, go do it. And then prove it, and then show us, and then we won't say nothing. Everybody just shut the fuck up. Cassidy needs to be in a small room. I guess a, he had to craft himself for a bigger I don't, audience. I don't, I don't believe that there's any rules to battle rap, bro. Like that whole shit that he be talking about is whack. And I'm a Cassidy fanatic. I can hit y'all with some bars I never. Hey, what should he be talking about? I heard bars that niggas never heard from Cassidy. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. You know his potential. There's no way that man should be talking the way he's talking and not showing it. Like, you're, you're whack for that, bro. Like, get out of here. And now, I'll be honest. Like, I'm going to be honest. His first verse was crazy. It was. The second verse was trash basura. The third verse, it was all right. But I don't want that from Cassidy, bro. I want the best 
shit ever. But like that first verse, that was the shit that we wanted to see. Do you think if he didn't hype it up as much, that our perception no, would be different? No, no. I think if he did the first verse throughout the battle, yeah. he would have killed Goods. Yeah, I, I see he that. He would have scraped sure. him. When I watched that, I was like, yo, his first verse. And everybody says the same exact thing. Yeah. His first verse was crazy. Yeah. Even Smack was like, he was, but like you seen at the second second verse. Why do you think it went down? I don't think what? Like the quality of the verses went down. I don't think he understood how battle rap works anymore. I think he just thought like, yo, if I just rap and say the best shit I think I'm saying, he's not thinking about like the crowd, the reactions, the timing, okay. what he's saying, what I'm saying back. He's not understanding that because he ain't been battling. He don't understand any of that. He's wow. just rapping. He didn't, because you know, how many times do you think people like switch their third verse to their second? I do it all the time. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. He didn't do that. I guarantee you he did. Yeah. He didn't do any of that. He didn't think about none of that. Mm -hmm. He didn't think about like, yo, maybe. He had extra verses, bro. I heard like he put a whole track down. That track was crazy when he's like, yo, this is my extra verses I had for goods. Why you use that? Why you use that, bro? That shit was way better than the shit you battled with. That shit was trash. So basically, he probably is surrounded by yes men that don't tell him too much. No, 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 no. I mean, I'm not even gonna say it's on nobody. It's on him. I'm not saying, bro. He I'm needs not, to get in that mirror bro. and be like, yo, this is this. I'm not saying it's on, that it's on that. anybody else, but at a certain point, mm -mm. we should have people around us to actually remind us. Or nope. get, I mean, bro, 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 bro. I'm not, we have, that people, that. we have to have people around <laughs> us. I'm not, I'm not excusing him from the battle. I'm not doing that, bro. What I'm saying is, he doesn't have anybody around him to say, hey, he knew that he fucked who, up. Who tells Cassidy he's whacked to his face? He knew he in his fucked circle. up. I'm going to tell you this. He knew he fucked up because I've seen that interview. But what I'm saying is, you don't have no real homies around. I forgot what they was, A real homie wouldn't let you go out like that. He has too much, was, he has was, too much talent. The same, the same dude that we got the footage of of Goods. He has too much talent to go out like that. They Nobody interviewed Cassidy, bro, and that night, and he was like, I don't know. Like, his energy was totally different. Totally. He knew he lost. But I'm he saying, this, bro, I've had, I've had homies in the past who said, you know what you should do? Change that first verse to the second verse. Yeah. And I wouldn't even been thinking like that unless somebody suggested it. But look, you know look, 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 look. The problem with Cassidy, he's too battle-tested. He's too much. His, 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 his shit is too far up there. Yeah. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. But at the same time, his pride is way too high. It's not about the people around him, it's about him. He needs to break himself down. Like, you can't be in battle rap. You know you wasn't doing that when you was battling niggas. You was killing everybody, bro. But that was a different format a long time ago. It's brand it's not new a, now. It's, a, it's not a different format because- Brand was, new. I'm gonna tell you this, he was killing everybody. There then, wasn't a person that couldn't, there wasn't a person that could beat him. He was killing everybody then. No, 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 there's no difference. Like, I'm not gonna take that away from him. So you're saying lyrics, he is 5,002. Lyrics is lyrics, bro. He said he's, he's 5,002. He's always been a lyrical dude and always killed Where his Where was it with goods? He thought he was that good. He's he's off, bro. Like, when you take time off from something, you're not as That's good. That's what I'm saying. Shit. If he had some real not, homies around him that were like, yo, fast. Nah, I'm, I'm trying fast. to tell you, it's yeah. not about the homies. It's because he didn't polish his shit. He didn't polish his shit. So you think he was lazy on the writing? No, it's he's been away from it. And he thought that he still was that same guy. He forgot who he was. He bumped his head. Bro. He bumped his head. He was confused. <laughs> he got amnesia. I mean, the nigga got in a car crash, bro. Like, you're not supposed to let Goods get you, bro. bro. Goods is cool, but no way. He, he needs Everybody has a team. That goods, nigga, like, it's Goods. Like, Goods is what, I, you know, he's a friendly rapper. Bro, there's a reason. Goods ain't killing niggas like that. There's Tell a... me a person that Goods killed. Nobody. In the recent time. Nobody. He's killed somebody, but in the recent time, I can't remember anyone like recently that Goods killed, bro. His name and is... nobody, he didn't battle nobody. Like Cass Cassidy got bars, nigga. That was an ego. You know what? That was an ego-based battle. That battle should not have happened. I, I personally think if Cassidy battled somebody else that was qualified to battle him, I think Cassidy would have stepped it up more. They both lost. There's not one winner in that, that battle, man. Like, they both lost. I said Goods was the winner. I was lying. I watched it again. Nobody won. They both was trash. Yeah. Well, everybody has a team. I'll say that. We have a team. 
Not about the team, but a real team. Like, like, somebody said that, yo, that verse is whack. It doesn't matter if you're Cassidy, it doesn't matter if you're Eminem. If you have a team around you that says, yo, you need to fix that verse, then that, that should be fixed. Outside of battle rap, like, because we're going to just do this on the like, life kind of thing. It's not about having a team, man. You got to be polished. Like, you can't depend on anybody. Like, that's just how life is. Like, you can't depend on nobody. But like, you have to be so far ahead that nobody can't tell you nothing. Like, and I'm not talking about being stubborn or being like, you know, you got to listen to people's opinions <coughs> and shit like that. Yeah. That's important. But you got to just put in the work. He didn't put in the work. Like, when I listen to that shit, that shit was not, it wasn't the work. Let me say, bro, like, I understand, like, Yes, like we should be so. That's what Gary Vee talks about. He only listens to the voice in his head. Yeah. Like I get it. Like being but so. He has a team that probably being, helps him. Being well, here's the thing. You're, so you're so you're so committed to your confidence, and you see your vision so clear yeah. that nobody can tell you anything because you know what you know. Yeah. Um, now, life is it, it's that's independent. I feel the same way. I operate like that. But yeah. life is about interdependence. So meaning. We can't get through life without a collaboration. I'm not of a lot of people around us. True. This is what I'm saying. But I know you're not saying, saying it's true. true. But yeah, I think I you're. That. I think you're putting down the validity of it. That's nah. what I'm saying, nah. bro, bro. This is what I'm saying. Nah. Everybody has. If you have a real team around you that said, if somebody, bro, if somebody, a real nigga came up to Cassidy, I'm, I'm his right hand now. Like, bro, those verses were hard, but nigga, those other two are kind of whack. You need to make the other. You need to make the first verse. Whack, though. I don't think like, it was whack. I think it was a multiply lack. that. I think it was a lack make three of rounds research. Of Feel me? It was a lack of research. He didn't know enough about. He didn't rap to goods. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying it was like it was trash. No, you didn't rap to goods. But then all of a sudden, when you dropped that freestyle, or whatever that shit was, he was rapping to goods. So why did we hear that then and not hear that during the battle? Like, what was you trying to prove? What did you think he was proving? That you can rap better? You know what? just don't give a fuck about that in the battle. They like, yo, you gotta attack the person that's in front of you. So he does know. That's a good point. I don't, I don't. He's a battle rapper. A lot of people should know. Do people talk about that track? That he, you're right. That, that track. After I heard the track. Shit, yeah, that shit was hard. He, they, there's right. no way he would have lost if he said that. If he said all the stuff he said. He didn't. And that's it. why I think he was lying. I think he was lying to himself. I think he's a liar. I believe he wrote that <laughs> afterwards. Liar. I think he wrote that afterwards. He did. He wrote that afterwards. There's no way. No way. Yeah, for sure he wrote it afterwards. It was like vengeance. He said he point. already had it. He said he had that loaded up and he was going to go if they gave him unlimited round. You're lying, bro. You're lying. Why are you lying? You're lying. You knew you lost. And you said you, you felt like inside, I got to put this out to let niggas know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I still rap better than this dude. Which he can, because like I seen the flex joint, I seen goods on flex. Don't watch that. Don't watch that. Yeah, no. Nah. Don't watch that. Damn. <laughs> Don't watch that. Cassidy was right. He cannot rap on a beat. He is a lot of battle rappers can. Mm -mm. Crazy. There's a lot of there's a lot of battle rappers that can though. You can't take it away from the dudes that can. Goods can do it. I say goods. Oh my god! I keep saying the wrong name, bro. DNA. <laughs> DNA is a good rapper. You can rap on a beat. I don't. Um, I disagree. You don't like DNA, bro? They beat up beats. Like being a rapper, a battle rapper, and being a songwriter oh, so are saying, different parts of the brain, bro. You're saying song. I'm talking about. So this is the thing I'm talking about. Goods can't even freestyle on a beat. Yeah. DNA can freestyle on a beat. Yeah. <laughs> like. There's, a, there's some people that literally cannot rap on beats at all. Yeah. Some niggas can write songs. Let me give you an example. Sue me, Surf can write songs. Oh, yeah. Sue, well, Sue Surf, is, he's a rapper's rapper. That dude can rip anything. But the I thing, heard, the, yeah, the, I heard a couple of choices. The, from Sue Surf. the thing is, like, bat, the battle mindset is like, I'm going to be the best lyricist ever. I'm going to fucking destroy this beat, even to a love song. Now, bro, bro, you ain't got to tell be, me. Be, be, being... You got to tell me, bro, bro. I'm telling them, bro. Tell them. I started out as a so, battle rapper. I know, bro. I was tell, telling them. So even when you're talk, you're talking, I've heard battle rappers rap on a love song mm -hmm. with the same aggression that they would in a battle. But, yeah. but it was a dope song. But you have to tone it down. 
as far as your literally your tone, your tonality determines a lot. I think um, a lot of these battle rappers are stuck here, bro. They're they're stuck in battle mode. They can't make songs. And I think that's that's Cassidy was one of those dudes, but um, like he he, he changed the tone, but he would still hit you with some punchline. It was like on some Fab shit. Yeah, like him and Fab was kind of like in the same kind of bracket when it came to like making love songs. And, yeah, because like, it was like they still would say some like crazy punchlines. But it would be like to females, you know what I mean? Like it was, it was weird to me, but it was yeah. dope at the same time. But I, I wouldn't like listen to it too much. Fabulous would have destroyed good. I don't know about that. You don't know about that? His energy is not like, he, he's not a battle rapper. I don't know about that. Are you saying based, based off his energy? He's too laid back, bro. I think he would get killed in the battle. Oh, but he did the mixtape with Jadakiss. I know what you're saying. He got bars, like, and that's the thing. People a remember Joe shape. Buttons, right? Yeah. Remember yeah. Joe Buttons? Yeah. Joe Buttons got bars. Oh, Joe yeah. Buttons always had bars. Yeah. Now he's got. Now he has a podcast like us. Exactly, but he couldn't step into battle rap league. Like he can't do it. He can watch it. He can be part of it. He can talk about you it. Do know? Joe Buttons got on Hollow the Dawn. I remember. I watched it. I was on. We was on pay per view watching it. What'd you think? He lost. Hands down, like he didn't even he didn't even compete. He just doesn't know how to rap. He don't know how to rap in a battle. He's just not there. He just sounds like an old man. Like, and he never did it again, did he? He what, knows he he knows not to do that. I think that's because it was personal with Hollow. I don't know if it was that personal for Hollow though. No, 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 personal for Hollow and Joe. I don't think it was that personal for Hollow. Though. I think it was like maybe personal for Joe. But Joe is just a personal dude. He's light skinned. Are you saying light skinned people are personal? A lot. Are you saying they're are you are you saying they take things personally? And they're light skinned. So you're dudes. saying so you're let me get this right. So you're saying mm -hmm. if you're light skinned, then you're easily offended. That's what you're saying. Nah, I'm not saying you're yeah, easily offended. I'm just saying that there's usually something there in the air to make you that way. And when I say in the air, I just mean like what people put out there. Oh, yeah, yeah, The universe, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I feel you, you know I feel you. Because it's like, crazy shit. Let me tell y'all about this, right? Sometimes I'm considered light-skinned. I know y'all looking at me like, what the fuck, how, where, how? But like, I have friends that's like, black as fuck. Like, dark, purple. I got niggas that's like Haitian, Jamaican. West Indian, African, all that shit. All the so kings. Like, all the kings. I'm African too. People don't know that. I'm African. I'm Nigerian. Nigerian. Um, but like around them, I'm light-skinned. So I hear the light-skinned jokes, but I'm not emotional. So like, it's perception. Like you're saying, the small and the big. It depends I'm on... Not, I'm not emotional. Like, I don't care about none of that shit. What I'm going to do, if you crack on me and call hey, me light-skinned hey, and say light-skinned light jokes, hey. I'm going to hit you back with the, the jokes that you're going to hurt you. Let me turn light-skinned. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Hey. So what, what do they look at? Okay. So what we what <laughs> we can ask me something. Hey, what we consider light skin? Yeah. Like white white? Yeah, la, la. So what and they and they consider us light skin. What do I they consider, consider light skin sometimes? So what do they call the people that are lighter than us? High yellow. High yellow. That's crazy. My mother's high yellow. Mine too, actually. The one is all yellow. Like she got all that. Like people didn't even know that she was black. My mom's like, you know, I mean, she grew up with the worst racism. Some of the worst racism. She told me, you know, the white people knew she wasn't white. The black people knew she wasn't black. You know, she had a long, nice hair. You know, so she just got hated on a lot. She got into a lot of fights. And I got a homie that was mixed. Yeah. He's white and black, but he's he's so light, and he looks in a way to where you can't even tell like what he is. So he would tell me, um, he's, and he's highly intelligent, and yeah. he wouldn't be too easily offended, but I don't know what that means, because I would've been mad in some of the situations he described to me. Yeah. He would say he, he was around white people a lot yeah. because they didn't know he was black. And it was like oh. the N-word, like, like the er. Oh. Yeah, that, that and he didn't say nothing. Well, that's what I'm saying. I would've been mad. I don't know what this nigga was doing. And he didn't but, say nothing. Hey, I don't know. I can't, I can't speak for him. But I thought it was interesting because you speak for him. if you're what? Exactly. I'm going to speak for yourself. Does that, does that mean he deserves to die? I don't want to say die. I mean, I'm not trying to kill nobody out here. 
No, 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 we don't have to kill him. I, I know a few people. But anyways. <laughs> Um, like, I used to think like you can choose, best of both worlds. You can blend story, bro. You blend like, it with the white. You can blend it with the white. My mom's ain't. My mom's was um you really, really, really like. Yeah. But like at the same time, she had two black parents. Now ain't that crazy? She had two black parents. But like, like dark you would look skin. at her. I mean, well, one's light skin and one was like regular. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But like her parents wasn't white. Not one parent was white. My my uh. My mom, like we're mixed with Indian, yeah. so maybe that's why she was light, but she's like high, high yellow. Like yeah, was, my mom, she was yeah. my mom. It was same, I, I see your mom. They're the same yeah. color. Exactly. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. But like both her parents is black. Interesting. What you would consider black, but like, so my grandfather's mother had white in her. I know I know I have Irish. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm my Irish. Grandfather's in my mother. That's why I'm drinking. She wasn't white, but she had white in her. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm, I'm drinking because I have Irish in my blood, bro. I'm drinking because of I feel you. Everybody drink, nigga. Hey. Everybody drink. Hey, man. You know, I know. After that, I was Method Man for a second. I'm like, oh, the Method Man is on right now. I think it's, who is this? Hey, let me just, okay. Back to, back to the other shit, bro. They're gonna love this. Back to the other Back shit. to the mothership. Back to the mothership. I'm on some other shit. Might take a shit all over that podcast. Mm. Hey, so basically, the data 